Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick video on a minor trade the Phillies completed where they traded our Class A catcher, Abraham Gutierrez, who was supposed to be involved in the Tyler Anderson trade last or earlier this week on Tuesday, excuse me, in order to acquire AAA lefty Braden Ogle, who has actually been pitching really solid since becoming a minor league reliever the last two years. If you look at his career numbers, in 73 games he has a 310 ERA in 162 innings pitched and 162 strikeouts. So you know this guy can get strikeouts as a reliever. He has at least one per innings pitched. And is uh, what I really like about him is if you look at him, his batting average last year in his first full year as a reliever in 43 innings, which he's already close to surpassing this year as a 228. This year, he's already at 31.2, and he only has 10 innings to go to total his total from last year. His batting average is all the way down to 173. Now, his whip's up a little bit at 1.33. He wasn't on the Pirates 40-man roster, so this is a minor trade, but it's a minor trade that has the chance to become a bigger trade because of this one reason I'm going to run through. The Phillies, because of a very nice thing that my co-host that's on here, sometimes Andrew Santangelo, uh, sent me the text. Glenn Tag really did hurt us because teams, um, Jason Stark tweeted this earlier, teams talking with Philly say they're still in on multiple starters and relievers, but lack of premier prospects is keeping them from doing anything big. A lot of teams are asking about Bone, Stott, and Abel, but obviously we're more of into trading cash or lower prospects. I added in the lower prospects rather than moving the best young players. And that makes sense. It's like, it's like he just really screwed us over in our prospect pool. Similar for my Flyers fans, a homegrown really screwed the Flyers over when Hextall came in. But Glenn Tack probably honestly did it worse. So the Phillies have to recover from that. That's why getting this Braden Ogle kid who's been developing while well, looking like he's turning into a solid reliever and he's looking like he's a pure reliever is going to be beneficial for this team because then you can move Ranger Suarez like they've been talking about on the telecast for weeks now potentially into that rotation and he can slide in as a nice back end of the rotation lefty and then you can have Bailey Falter when he comes off of the COVID IL plus Braden Ogle potentially be the lefties in your bullpen if you don't make another move today for a lefty so this was a minor move you're trading Abraham Gutierrez a single a catcher for a triple a reliever that just turned into a reliever the last couple years that got picked in the fourth round from the Pirates but it has a chance to be made bigger because Braden Ogle, if he can develop himself into a reliever, come up. I have a feeling he's going to pitch pretty quickly with the Phillies big club. I have a feeling they'll put him on the 40-man roster and give him a chance fairly quickly because he was having success in the minors. And they're going to want to see if they can do the aforementioned reasoning. I said this could become a bigger move, which is potentially move Ranger Suarez into the rotation. And then you'd have Braden Ogle plus Bailey Falter, who's been pitching well as a youngster himself, who's been showing some signs in the minors, similar to Ogle, and then has come up and shown success. So hopefully you can see that with Braden Ogle as well. Everyone have a great day and pleasant day. This has been a short reaction to a minor trade the Philadelphia Phillies made, trading Abraham Gutierrez, single-A catcher, for Braden Ogle to the uh, cross-state team, the Pittsburgh Pirates. Stay safe out there, everybody. Peace out, and as always, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. It really helps, and we really appreciate it here at Sports for that News. And subscribe also to, of course, Steel Flyer as well. Peace out. Stay safe, everybody.